Uh, so, WrestleMania 22. John Cena defeats Edge to win the WWE Championship on Monday Night Raw, where Mick Foley served as a guest referee. Uh, Edge was unhappy and challenged Mick Foley to a rematch at WrestleMania. And Mick Foley agreed, but, in, but challenged him to an Extreme Rules match. Bringing out the Cactus Jack Mankind and uh, Twisted Mick Foley persona. Ah. Yeah, he's had a lot of very different gimmicks over the years. Uh, he had th four, if you count Mick Foley as one separate from all of those. There's uh, love. Cactus Jack, Dude Love, and Mankind. Mankind. And Mick Foley. Yeah, we're skipped. Yeah, not much, not much attention get being given to WrestleMania 21. No, we're on 22 now. Yeah, I know. No, I know. That's what I mean. Yeah, we skipped over. The, we actually skipped t just right past the main event, which was uh, yep. if you're wondering, Batista versus Triple H. Yep. Batista winning. That's a weird look for Edge. I'm not used to him like with a full-on beard. WrestleMania 22 was in ah back back in Rose back in Rosemont, Illinois. Mm -hmm. Too far from my neck of the woods. In the what they now call the Allstate Arena. Like, at the time, I don't know if it was called. It, it used to be the Rosemont Horizon. I don't know if it had been changed to Allstate Arena by then. Or not. Hmm. But, the Allstate Arena, where payback just took place. Yes, that was just t two nights ago at the time of this recording. Yep. This was on April 2nd, 2006. Sponsored once again by Snickers. <laughs> no, they're, they're like the chief sponsor for a lot of these. I know. I just love, like... So one of the main reasons behind the PG era, um, as some of our viewers may or may not know, the is uh, because... Demanded it. Oh, shit. He took my bat. Fuck you. God damn it. Okay, now wait, what's, what's, okay, win by pinfall or submission. What's your Irish whip? I have Mick to Irish Foley whip Mick Foley into the lightly, rope. when he's lightly damaged. Oh, okay. Into, into the rope. Oh, fuck. Oh. Wow. Mick Foley is making a fool out of Edge. Run away. Oh, God, what the hell? I hit him. This is bullshit. Okay. Going for the bat again. Okay. God damn it, I missed again. There's something wrong with me. Or well, Edge's depth perception. That's not news. What's that? That's 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 not news. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> now, wh Whatever. okay, what was it you were going to say? About Snicker? About about the, the origins of the PG era? Oh, um... So, in... So, okay, uh, the... you would have watched during the Attitude era, you know, I seen actually, some of the I was actually mostly sort of, like, just before the Attitude era was my... Oh, okay. When I originally was, was like my original period watching it. Well, the thing about the eruption of the Attitude Era and like ECW and all that is that pro wrestling actually had a very difficult time getting sponsorships. Just it was because you know, people didn't. It was it was embarrassing to be associated with. It, it was really look, hard to be associated with a, a program at the time that was willing to subject um, you know violence and the vulgarity uh, you know, and guys yelling, guys sex telling. Stuff. Telling people to suck it and yeah, you know. Uh, well, that, Triple could, that H could be like a Tootsie Michael's Pop also. slogan. What's that? It could be like a Tootsie Pop slogan. Like, like yeah. a, the guys at Degeneration X could just like brandish their toot, their their Tootsie Pops and yell, "Suck it!" <laughs> Maybe they. Could... <laughs> You're gonna give them ideas. Next next uh, match is going to be um, sponsored by. Oh shit. Oh shit! I fell. Okay, so, sponsored by yeah. I, well, uh, I remember like Pops. there was a period where like WWE, WWF, E was like making like major stream news just because people were sort of shocked by how raunchy it was getting. Yeah. Because like people were thinking, you know, thought of wrestling, they thought of you know Hulk Hogan and his demandments about taking vitamins and eating right. pasta. Well, yeah. The thing is, like, outside of traditional um, sponsorships. Oh shit. Get the uh, God damn it! Um, they had a really hard time getting sponsorships uh, to expand the brand. Bam. Um, 
as well as the fact that, uh, oh hey, is this guy trying to give me a crutch? Yeah, he is. Uh, uh, Linda McMahon was beginning her run for governor. Oh yeah, or was it senator? So, or was it governor? May maybe it was senator. Okay. Anyway, yeah, continue. Uh, Linda McMahon. Uh, so Vince had the program cleaned up so as not to associate so openly. Uh, oh, okay. And cost her any. Uh, political points. Okay. Uh, the McMahons, of course, being a rich family, having a more conservative bent, and uh, you know, not likely to receive any. Oof, jumping TDT. You know, you, 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 they didn't want like their opponents to be showing like, you know, negative campaign ads where they talking about you know John Cena rapping about STDs and you know say, do you want this you know woman to? Yeah. Um, oh shit. So, oh fucking hell. So yeah, they cleaned it up for, you know, ratings for uh, the political campaign and for um, sponsorships and that okay. sort of thing. Makes sense. So, when the, did the PG era kick off? The PG era officially kicked off in 2007, but they'd been slowly cleaning it up. Oh shit, he reversed my finisher. They've been slowly cleaning up the WWE since, I think, 2004. Was when they were beginning their, to like look for their next big star. Dueling chairs! Oh shit. Yes. Okay. Let's see if we can get a corner spear this time. Oh! Now, what was Lita's so role is... in all this again? What's that? What was Lita's role in all this, in this whole feud again? Uh, Lita was just with uh, Edge. Oh, okay. Um, so more specifically, unlike Miss why... Elizabeth, she's coming out to support her. Yeah. Okay. That is a cool spot. No matter how many times we see it. Um... Yeah, there there was an angle where she, he was um, two, three. I win. Um, Edge and Lita were found to be secretly dating on the side. She was like cheating on Matt Hardy, and this I, I think this was real. He's done in real the life. Crimson Mask. I gotta say that every time. <laughs> and when that came to light, they used it in a wrestling story where Edge was stealing. Lita from Matt Hardy. Now, I believe this is the only WrestleMania uh, 22 match we're going to get. Yes. Um, so the, main, the main event was actually uh, John Cena versus Triple H for the World Championship. Cena winning by submission. Although, actually, one of, one of the highlights at least, that I remember, at least for me, was the Money in the Bank ladder match with... It was like six, six, man, six, like six man, every man for himself. Rob Van Dam, Shelton Benjamin, Ric Flair, Finley, Matt Hardy, and Bobby Lashley. Wow, that was just fantastic. That is a good line. I, I remember this one spot where like the, like the ladder had like fallen and it was like leaning on one of the turnbuckles or something. something like mm. that. And Shelton Benjamin, I don't remember precisely what happened, but like he dashed across the ring and he like ran up the ladder on its side, at like very <laughs> high speed and like launched himself off onto a guy or something like that. See, I've o I've always been of the opinion that that the money in the bank matches really show, like the hard workers. Uh, in the WWE, it was it was a tremendous match. Um, I don't like, I can't remember what year it was, but there was one. It was uh, Ed, uh money in the bank with Edge and Matt Hardy, mm -hmm. and Matt Hardy was holding on to the briefcase, uh, dangling over the ring. And Edge climbs up the ladder and then spears him off the ladder. Oh. Off the briefcase onto the ring. And, like, that was a really big dive. Okay. It was a good, uh, a good one. 
And like you, you, I mean, you, you see that kind of thing at right? the Money in the Bank matches, which is always why I like to watch those. Incidentally, so now on Chris the... Jericho takes um, takes the credit for the Money in the Bank match idea. Really? Whether or not it was actually him who uh, came up with the idea, I don't know. 